Storing your VR headset can be a pain. Plenty of people just use the box that the VR headset comes with, or they just end up leaving it lying on a coffee table or a desk. But there are better ways of storing your headset. Cue the VR stand from AMVR. Now this is a stand that will support the original Oculus Quest, the Oculus Quest 2, or rather the Meta Quest 2 now, the Pico Neo 3 and the Vive Focus headset. Plus it adds a little bit of RGB blink at the bottom to make it stand out from the rest. But is it right for you? Welcome to my tech gear. Let's find out. Assembly out of the box is dead easy. All you need to do is take the base and take the upright arm and twist it into place. Then take the controller arms and slide them over the top and do likewise with the resting plate after that too. Then place the stand top on top to finish it off. And now plug it into a power source using the provided USB-C cable. Please note there is no power supply plug provided with the stand. Then once that's all set up and you can tell when it's on because the RGB at the bottom will start to light up, you now have to attach using the shorter USB-C cable, the stand to the headset to charge the headset. Voila, you are done. So I've been using this for a while now and here are my thoughts. First up, the base. Now this is really nice and heavy, certainly different to a lot of other cheap 3D printed VR stands you can get. The base alone itself weighs about 11 ounces or 315 grams. So that helps to keep the stand bottom heavy, which means even if you accidentally knocked the Quest headset, it's really unlikely to fall over. You've got to seriously knock this thing in order to, for the headset to fall off the top. And that is worth its weight in gold because the last thing you wanna do is knock this and it falls off your desk. Because when that lands on the floor, well, it ain't gonna be pretty. The stand itself once built is really strong as well. So if you take the headset off, you can now see it's nice and strong, doesn't really move anywhere. There is quite a bit of flex in the controller arms here though. You can move these quite a bit, which originally I thought was a bad idea, but really if you think about it, I'd much rather something gave under a little bit of stress rather than was rigid and then snapped. So it does mean if you kind of smack these on with a bit too much pressure, it's not gonna snap off, it'll just give and then go back to where it should. And these controller arms fit really well with the controllers if you don't have any other accessories on it. So this is the vanilla controller, nothing on it. If I now take um, just a halo protector on the controller here, let's get that the right way around. If I put that on and now I try and fit that on the stand, it kind of fits, but definitely doesn't fit as well as if it didn't have it on it. So it's definitely designed for a naked controller. They do still fit though, it's just not as well. So depending upon what accessories you've got on your controller, it may or may not fit. So just bear that in mind if you're considering this. I've had it with this halo strap on, I've had it with a couple of different controller grips on them as well, and it still fits, it just doesn't fit as nicely as without. So the LED lighting here is completely superficial and gives you no benefit to the stand itself, but it looks cool. There are five different modes here. You've got two pulsating LED modes and three fixed light modes of blue, green, and red. You can also turn off the LED entirely if you don't want it on, which is useful if you've got it in your bedroom and well, you wanna get to sleep. <laughs> on Amazon, this is advertised as an AMVR headset charging dock, which I think is a little bit misleading because when you put the headset on the stand, it doesn't actually start charging the headset straight away. You still need to take the short USB-C cable I've got here and plug it in from the stand into the headset. Now it's charging the headset. It also doesn't charge the controllers either. The controllers just kind of stand or just sit on the stand itself. That's not really an issue for me though because I don't charge my controllers. I've got rechargeable batteries in here and I just swap them out when I need to. So at the end of the day, should you buy it? Well, if you're in the market for a storage solution that keeps your Oculus Quest visibly but neatly tucked away, then the AMVR VR stand is a good choice for you. The LEDs at the bottom are really cool and that weighted base places it above other VR stands that I've seen. It's not a true charging dock though because you do have to plug it into the headset and it doesn't charge the controllers, unlike something like the Anchor charging dock. That dock, however, whilst it does charge both the controllers and the headset, is $99, which is significantly more expensive than the AMVR one because this one is only $39. I will place purchase links to both of them in the description down below so you can go check them out for yourselves though. If you'd like to check out some more great Quest 2 accessory ideas, then be sure to check my video up here. If you have enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like and share it. Consider subscribing if you're not. 
And as always, see you in the next one. <laughs>